Hey, what's up everyone? So if you've been in the market to purchase a network video recorder for your IP cameras and you were unsure if you were gonna be capable of installing your own hard drive, or for those of you that are just looking to upgrade your existing hard drive, I'm gonna show you here today how to install a hard drive into one of these and how easy it really is. If you guys wanna see what this Amcrest NV4116HS comes with, go ahead and check out my unboxing video here. And if not, let's get right into it. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take out the two screws on the side of the NVR and these two screws in the back to remove the top cover. Once you get the four screws removed, the top cover will lift right off. So now you guys can see there's not much to these. There's just the circuit board there, uh, a little fan here for cooling it, and your hard drive mounts in here to these four areas right here. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your wires that come with the NVR and plug them into your hard drive. One of these is a power wire and the other one is for the data. Now I'll be using a Western Digital 4TB hard drive and this is a purple hard drive which is made for surveillance and the difference with a surveillance hard drive versus a normal hard drive is that you could do a lot more uh, reading and writing to this hard drive it has basically a better life cycle before it dies now with that being said in my existing NVR that I'm using I'm just using a standard hard drive that I had laying around from an old computer and it's been working fine it's a little bit loud but I figured this time I'd go with a better hard drive because I don't plan on upgrading this anytime soon now you're gonna want to use these four screws that come with the NVR you're gonna to want to start threading the screws into the hard drive about one turn each okay now that I have the screws started they're sticking up a little bit those will slide into the slots and lock into place and then you tighten them from underneath I may have some of them a little too tight. Okay, well it didn't seem like they wanted to slide with them just a little bit uh, in there, so I took most of them out, got them where they need to go, and I'll just put them back in now. So they might be just a little too short to do what the manual says. Okay, now that we got the hard drive secured in place, you want to flip it back over and all you need to do is plug the two wires into the board. And now it's installed and everything's hooked up. You can see guys, there's nothing to it. So now you just install the back cover and you're good to hook it up. Now, one thing I did notice is that in the manual, it states that you can only put up to a 4TB hard drive in here. However, on this model that I got, it says that you can install up to a 6TB hard drive. So it does seem like the manual is a little bit outdated. So I would say that they need to update that. If you watched my unboxing video, you'll notice that I did explain that the picture in the manual was a little different than the picture of the one I received. So that is one thing to keep in mind. I think the user manual may need to be updated. So now we're ready to install the top cover back on. You basically just want to lock the front end first on an angle, set it down, and reinstall the four screws. If you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate it and want to thank you guys for watching. Guys, I finally got the Western Digital 4TB hard drive installed into the Amcrest NV4116HS NVR. And you guys can see how easy it really was. Hopefully it helps you guys out if you were unsure if you could install one in here or update your existing hard drive. Like I said before, 
I'm gonna go ahead, use this thing for about a month. I'm gonna get it hooked up. If you guys are interested on in seeing a video of that or a full review on how this thing's working, please click the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you're notified and don't miss that video. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'm hoping to see you guys on the next one.